Hello everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Albert Weigaard and today I want to show you how to unbox and install the MIG. So let's open the box and see what's inside. What we have here is the MIG safety information, temperature verification report and the quick start guide. Next to that, a USB cable, a power cord, the power adapter, a box with MIG tubes and caps, 960, pre-wrecked. Software is on the USB key, make capping tool, Bluetooth antenna, and of course, we also have a MIG. So let's have a closer look at the individual items. This here is your MIG capping tool, this is the Bluetooth antenna, and this is your USB cable. You have the option to either control the MIG via the USB cable or with the Bluetooth antenna. You can connect up to 10 MIGs to one laptop using either Bluetooth or the USB cable. The MIG tubes, they come in these racks. And let's open one and you will see that they are stacked like this. So you just take off one tray, put the other one back. And if you look closely, you can also see that you have the numbers here. So A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four, five. And you just pipette as you would normally do either with a one channel pipette or with an a channel pipette the tubes are easily kept so these are the caps what you do is after you pipette the master mix and sample into those tubes you are easily going to cap them using the capping tool like this and when needed you can even write on the frosted part here If we take a look at the back of the instrument, we will see that there is a connection for the Bluetooth antenna here. There is a USB cable connector here. This is a connector for the power supply and we have an on and off switch. So I'm going to control the MIG using Bluetooth. So I'm going to connect that Bluetooth antenna. So the next thing we're going to do is to connect the power adapter to the MIG. And we have to make sure that the light, the blue light on this power adapter is off. So do not connect the MIG if blue light is on. As you can see, there is a horizontal edge on this connector. So we have to make sure that that is facing towards us um, and we just Click it in like this and now it's secured. The next thing we're going to do is to connect the power cord to the power adapter. And then we are going to connect the power cord to the wall socket. So we've done that. You can now also see that the blue light on the power adapter is on. We're going to turn the mic around. And as you can see, it's already switched on. 
you can see the blue light, meaning that it's ready to do a real-time PCR reaction. So we are ready to run. 48 samples, we kept them all. And as you can see, you can even write on the frosted part, as can be seen here. So what we are going to do is we are going to put those tubes inside the rotor. Now, we start with number one, like this, and we just go all the way. Just do it like this. And you don't have to worry. Whenever one drops out of your hand, you still know what number one and what number four is because there is this mark here and that mark should correspond to the mark here. So you know you're always good. So let's continue doing that. Tube clamp, put that in place, close the lid, and you are ready to go. So we have started up the software, and my mic is connected via Bluetooth. And what I need to do now is to make an essay. So I'm going to start new essay, and I'm going to select my chemistry and my run parameters and also the way I would like to have things analyzed after the run has completed. The nice thing of using essays is that you have to make an essay once, but then never again, because on a day-to-day -day basis, you are just going to start the run by selecting the essay, the test you want to run at that particular day, and you don't have to worry about anything anymore. So let's do that. Start a new run. New run. Select the essay, and let's say that we have made an essay for COVID-19 testing. We go to select the MIG we want to start the run on. Start the run, and save it. Just give it a name, and it will now connect to the MIG. And this is something that you can see by the blinking of the blue light. Just start the run. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any further questions, please drop us an email on the email address below. Thank you very much.